In this video, we're going to take a look at the rotating clock divider module from 4MS. Now, this clock divider needs an actual clock on its input, so we're going to use the Metropolis's clock output. The Metropolis is currently not running, but if I hit the Run button, you will see that the Metropolis will start outputting a clock. So I'm going to take the output of the clock from the Metropolis and plug it into the input on the 4MS. And immediately we can see the result of this. So on the input, we're getting the LED flashing at the same rate as the original clock. I'm going to slow it down so we can see that a bit better. So the output of the Metropolis is exactly the same as the input on the 4MS. And also the divided by one output from the 4MS is exactly the same. And that's because the incoming clock signal divided by 1 gives us the exact same signal. Divide by 2 gives us half of that. And you can see we're getting 1 pulse on the divide by 2 output per 2 pulses on the divide by 1 output. Same for divide by 3. So you can think of it as 1 third of the original clock. And divide by 4 is 1 fourth and so on and so forth. So the clock divider is giving us multiple clock outputs but all related to the original clock in a musical way. So we can make use of this to trigger different voices. So let's set up a few different voices. I've plugged the four pole out from the discrete OTA VCF into the input on the DVCA and I've cranked up the resonance on the filter. As you may already know, when you crank up the resonance on a self-resonating analog style filter, it produces a sine wave tone. So that sine wave is going into the DVCA, and let's set that output to go into the input on the mixer. Now let's make use of the clock divider. I'll take the divide by one, or the original clock signal, and trigger the first ADSR. Of course, all four of them are flashing right now. And let's take the output of that first ADSR and plug it into the CV in on the DVCA. Just to hear the signal, I'm going to plug the output of the mixer into my monitoring system. Alright, so you can clearly hear that signal. Let's now bring in a second voice. I'll take the output of the second filter and also set its resonance to the highest. It's called Q-Peak on the MMF1. And take the output of that filter and plug it into the second DVCA input. To hear the signal, I'll plug the output of that second DVCA into the second input on the mixer. We don't have a CV in on that second DVCA yet. So let's go back in and take the divide by two clock output and plug that into the second gate on the quad ADSR. And now let's take the output of that gate and plug it into the second input on the DVCA CV in. And now you can hear that second voice. I'll bring in the first voice. All right, not bad. Let's bring in a third voice. Let's make use of the noise output. Now we only have two VCAs on the DVCA, so I'm going to make use of the Linux next. So I'll take the output from the noise generator and plug it into the first input on the Linux. All 
the output of the Linux can then go into the third input on the mixer. Let's make use of the divide by three clock output to trigger the third ADSR. And then the output of that ADSR can go into the CV input on the first CV in on the Linux. Alright, so this is a fairly complex batch here. We're making use of the clock divider to divide the original Metropolis clock to give us three separate clock outputs to trigger these three separate voices. Let's try out some of the other clock outputs instead.